classes of fire, class A, solids, the color is red, class B, liquids and gas, the color is yellow, class C, electricity, the color is black, class D, metals, the color is blue, class E, F or K, and the color is salt. We use water for the combustible solids, we use foam for the liquid and gas, we use sweet CO2 for the electricity, we use dry powder for the metals, we use wet chemical for the kitchen. Now, we want to do this exercise together. Class A, what is the nature of class A? Solid, liquid or gas? Solid. What is the nature of class B? Liquid or gas. What is the nature of class C? Electricity. What is the nature of class D? Metals. What is the nature of class E? Kitchen. What about the color? Red. 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 Yellow. Yellow. Black. Black. Blue. 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 Silver. Silver. Why silver? Because decoratively it sounds very good to the kitchen. Why blue? Because most of the volcanoes occur in the sea and the color of the sea is blue. Why black? Because carbon dioxide, carbon is black in color. Why yellow? Because of the oil, the oil is yellow in color. Why red? Because blood is red in color. Blood means living plants or animals from which the solids are derived. What about the example of the solids? Give me example of the solids. Wood. Example of liquid and gas. Kerosene. H2S. And H2S. Example of electricity. Fridge, stove, whatsoever, provided that it is connected to the main current. What is the example of the metal? Sodium, potassium, iron. Wrong. Copper, aluminium, whatsoever. Wow. <coughs> Cooking oil. Cooking oil. The places where we find the class A. In the jungle. Forest. How do we put out the fire in the jungle? Water. Water. Water? Water. No. We use the bulldozer to remove the trees around the fire so that we create a safety zone. Because whatever water you use in the jungle, it will be washed away with the heat. The heat will evaporate the water. The helicopter is best used for the rescue, not for fighting the fire. Okay? What about uh, the class for the, for the place for the class B, it is in the fuel petrol station. station or the petrol station. The place for class C, oh. it is in the home or office. the work. Most of the work related fires are electric in nature. Electric in nature. What about uh, the metal fires? Where do you find the metal fires? Factories, excellent. Factories, factories. Okay. And kitchen fire, you find it in the commercial places, big restaurants. Restaurants. What about the extinguisher that we use for class A? Which extinguisher we use? We use the water. And for the class B, we use the foam. And for the class C, CO2. CO2. And for the class D, powder. dry powder. And for the class E, wet chemical or silver extinguisher. It is made up of potassium salt. What about the precaution? When we are using water, we don't use water on oil. We don't use water on electricity. electricity. What else? Yes, on the chemicals, if you have paints or thinners, we don't use water. What about the precaution of using the foam? 
we don't use the phone for the electric fire. What about the precaution for using CO2? Confine the space. No, the precaution. Precaution. Means the situation in which it is not favorable to use CO2. If you are in an open place, you are not advised to use CO2 because it will be washed easily. It will be diluted easily. So, in the open places, we don't use it. CO2. What about dry powder? We don't use it in the confined, confined space. In the confined spaces, we don't use the dry powder. What about the uh, wet chemical? We don't use it for the electricity. Electricity. Contraindication. In which situation we should not use water, of course, with the oil? with the electricity. In which situation we should not use foam again with electricity? In which situation we should not use CO2 in the open places? In which situation we should not use dry powder in the confined spaces and also on the human? You don't use dry powder on the human. You may suffocate somebody if you extinguish him by the use of the dry powder. Ideally, for the human, you use the fire plant. For the class E, you should not use it for the electric, electric fire. So, these are the precautions, the indications, and the contraindications, and the color codes, and the examples of the fire classes. I hope that this summary is very helpful for you. We need to teach everybody, we need to make our knowledge very easily digestible for the others. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.